Hey everybody, guess what? I have EVDG Management. That's Everyday Girl Management. That's a modeling agency, uh, online newspapers. And these, these guys, they wanted to interview me. And I told them, well, you sure can if you come to my show and do it. So, look what I got. Kendra, Kendra is already, she already in films. She's already <laughs> in films and she's working her way around. So she's going to interview me and I'm going to still do our, our cooking lessons as we learn some, I guess, Reggie's life lessons. This is really Reggie's life lessons. And Kendra is going to be, um, like I said, throwing some questions at me. And we're ready. You ready, Kendra? I'm so ready. All right, Kendra. <laughs> All right. Oh, 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 this one I got to say. Kendra, we're going to be doing bacon, chicken, wrapped mozzarella sticks. That's what we're going to be making. Bacon, <laughs> wrap, bacon, chicken, wrapped mozzarella sticks. That's the reason why I got this okay. back in my Wait a minute. Y'all move over to the side. Okay. No. You're good. The ingredients is two cups, two cups of ketchup, one cup of tomato sauce, one cup of apple cider vinegar, one tablespoon of teaspoon of mustard, half a cup of light brown sugar, half a cup of granulated sugar, and eight boneless skin, um, skinless chicken tenders. Mm. Bam. Bam. That's how we're going to start this. That's what we're making for you. But again, Kendra, you can start whenever you're ready because I'm going to start um, I'm going to start doing my thing, and I'll be talking about what I'm doing, okay. but, um, you know, there you go. So, Mr. Reg. Yes, call, call you can you. call me Reggie. You can Reggie, call me Reg. okay. Yes. So, tell me, uh, tell us about yourself. <laughs> now, it's, it's, it's easy to talk about myself. I would love to hear it. We would all love to hear it. Let me see, where... The cooking show, how I got here? Yeah, I can tell you the story of how I got here. Okay. This, um, how I got here. Of course, the pandemic is what sent me into the kitchen like this. But um, actually, my brother was the cook, my brother Ronald. He was my, he was my right hand man. <laughs> then, like I was LG, my brother Larry Gaines, I was his right hand man. My brother Ronald was my right hand man after my brother LG passed away. And, but Ronald was a cook. Well, how I got into the kitchen like this is I started investing in equipment to do podcast shows. Mm -hmm. That's what I was going to do. And then I was asked, um, you know, people were talking about it, relatives. Um, so what is he going to do? What show is he going to do? I wasn't thinking about a show. But then... I was laying in bed and I was I was thinking about um, what would I do? And then I started thinking about my, I was thinking about my brother Ronald. And I was thinking about LG. Because uh, I was thinking about um, how I'm going to be retiring from running the Larry Gang Stop the Violence and turn that over to his his children, um, his boys. And but I had been, I spent so many years paying homage to LG. I said, that's what I'll do. I still can do the mentorship program by mentoring and, 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 and reaching out to the community and to people who need help or looking for guidance the best way I can. And at the same time, that's paying homage to my brother LG and for changing my life. At the same time, pay homage to my brother Ronald by cooking something. And like I said, I am not a professional cook. He was. I'm a cooking novice. But when I was a young single man and had my son, my, 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 my baby boy, and feeding him, <laughs> and I wasn't, I, you know, I took him to McDonald's, but I was trying to um, do like, like it used to be, like he was used to with the full meals. So that's what I would do. I would make full meals. So next thing you know, I realized I'm cooking. I'm yeah. cooking. 
and I like cooking. So then it turned into this. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. It turned into this. You, you is so lucky you interviewing me because I sure have you for the night cutting some chicken. And hey, listen, I can. Oh, then we're going to be doing that then. <laughs> we is going to be doing that. And let's see now, yesterday, this is what I'm going to do. Here. This is for you. Okay. See, she said it. And, of course, you can grab a knife. And what we're doing here, we're splitting these chicken tenders. Mm -hmm. We're splitting them open because what we're going to do here, go ahead. You, 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 I'm sorry. Did you see how we're splitting them open? Yes, I have. Yeah, okay. Plus, I'm a fast I, learner. Yeah, good, good, good. <laughs> You're doing good. You're doing good. So we're splitting them open, Kendra. And now when we get them down the seam, now once we get them split, Kendra, we're going to put some um, saran wrap. Now, <laughs> so you, you, this magazine, um, Everyday, Everyday Girl, you guys are um, uh, revamping your or, or doing your um, online newspaper, right? So that's yes. why that's why you're here, mm -hmm. and and you have young ladies that they you you, you give it um, get get exposed to. Please put a piece of uh, saran wrap over there, like I got right here. Okay. Now, why are you doing that? Because I'm going to give this to you when I'm when I'm finished with this. Because you see how I'm doing this? Everybody, y'all see me? Of course, I know y'all see me because that's how we do it. Um, so we pounded this, and actually, I wasn't supposed to do the chicken first. I'm supposed to make the marinade sauce that is going to go in first, and then you yeah. go. I'm going to stick this behind. Well, I feel like a true chef. So, Reggie, let me ask you another question. Go ahead. Being, um, being in, the in the education system, is there the need that you see in the young ladies um, today? In, 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 in any, 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 what, what do you mean? Any, 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 in what in particular? Is there anything particular you want to know? Like anything as far as what you feel as though they need more help in? Or yes. Does that? Well, actually. I think that the young kids are very intelligent nowadays. Oh, folks, two cups of ketchup. I think that, you know, because the kids, they all, for especially now, they're all working online. Mm -hmm. But you know what? If you want to, if you want to, I don't want to, I'm not being negative. I'm just saying that um, I think that our, our, our um, younger soul sisters, um, need more positive influencers, female influencers. I hope I said that loud enough. Again, I don't want to be negative, but I, I have a, a lot of the sisters, the young, young black girls that I'm dealing with, they need help. They need help. And um, again, um, I, I say that because actually when they get in school, they, I guess they're just like any any children because mm -hmm. they are children. A cup, a cup, a two cups of ketchup, a cup of um, apple cider vinegar. Yeah, because those same girls that I see in school acting like they can't lift a finger are the same ones that act like they're adults when they're on the streets. That is true. So, um, and 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 they don't, but, but not all. You can't say that all because there are young sisters, young teenage sisters that that very positive. And, and and they trying to and I've seen them trying to give our young young brothers directions because these young girls they want one cup of tomato sauce, one cup of apple vinegar, as I was saying that um, they need, uh, we have some, po some, po it's some positive young ladies and it's very positive and it's, um, and it's some that need help. And of course we see that, you know, 
that they need help from have they need peers such as yourself. The, they want to have both parents within a household to keep their heads on straight. And well, I, I, you know uh, what what I've noticed because a lot of my um my my the kids that I have are kids that kids that need resource extra resources. But, but nowadays with both parents, or if they have both parents and both parents out the door, and these kids being latchkey kids, you know, even, you know these kids are growing up having to do, take care of a lot of business on their own. That's why I say they, 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 they're, they're adults outside the, the, the school, but as soon as somebody starts catering to them, they become babies yeah but, but, but you can't be 13 and 14 and being a baby because 13 and 14 is when you your mind should be on your education now mm -hmm. now we're going to put a half a cup of the brown sugar I don't know if I'm supposed to be digging in this like this I think somebody said you ain't supposed to be doing that like that but <laughs> I, I was so busy, you know, I, I did do that job thing today, and so everything wasn't just sitting out in front of me. So, folks, please forgive me. But as I was saying, um, I, it, it, it's, it's a mixed batch with um, the kids, because some of them are ready and some of them are not. That's a half a cup of brown sugar and a half a cup of the white granulated sugar. No, it didn't look like a half a cup because <laughs> it's okay. But now, this, we're going to stir this like this. This is a very simple, easy recipe. Go ahead. So, um, Reggie, just to switch gears a little bit. Yeah. Um, when did you first start cooking like this? Was it a family thing, or was it just something you did around the house, or was it was it that you just started? Uh, uh, again, I've been cooking, just cooking to feed my family for. I'm sorry to turn you down, but I've been cooking to feed my family for a long time. My my the, my son that I was talking about that I was cooking for, he's now 22. So, <laughs> but I wasn't doing it. Like this, I, okay. I, you know. But now, right now, this if this, I don't know whether this is going to be show 16, 17, or 18. I mean, well, it's I already did 16. Whether this is going to be 17 for 18, 18th show, or or 19th because I already got one in the bag, okay. and I got one to do tomorrow. But um, what I'm enjoying in this cooking is that I haven't cooked anything twice. Okay. And guess what? This is what? the first time that I'm doing this. Me and you are doing this together. Yay! Uh, so far, <laughs> that ha I am. That is that is the thing that we. I'm not doing anything that I've done already. Now, this has to. The chicken has to marinate in this sauce for a couple hours. I mean, an hour or so. But you know what? I forgot, and I'm not, I'm not, but I almost forgot, that we need to pour some of this into this because that's going to be a spread. And I'm going to pour this, some of this into here because that's going to be the dip. And I don't want to put the meat in here and then do that. So now we're going to take the chicken that we flattened out the chicken tenders, and we're going to put them in here, we're going to put them down in here, and let them marinate in the sauce for an hour in the refrigerator. Wham, bam, <laughs> thank you ma'am. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to grab your pieces too, because this is kind of messy, okay. and you are interviewing me, so I won't, I won't have you all <laughs> it's, 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 it's okay. Yeah, because I sure we sure would turn around and just wash our hands. So, <laughs> folks, we're going to take a break. 
oh my goodness, I got a lot of editing to do because we was all over on the place because not <laughs> just not having my stuff out, but we'll be fine. So we're going to stick this in the fridge for an hour and then um, we're going to make sure that we have everything set up. Kendra is going to be back. She's going to continue to ask her questions. Please, I, I, sometimes I can ramble. Don't let me. Oh, Don't let I got me. You. Make sure I get to the point because yes, I can ramble. <laughs> we'll be right back. Reggie's Cooked Into Life's Lessons. I'm being interviewed by Kendra. She's a part of the Everyday Girl Management, Everyday Girl Online Magazine. Thank you, Kendra. No problem, Reggie. All right. Now we'll <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know we laughing because we talking about stuff while you guys are not here, but we're back. We're, we're back, and what we're doing now, we then let this chicken marinate. And, and they, you know, I could have got, um, let me move this to the side. Um, I got uh, some other kind of chicken. They, the, the, these chicken steaks or whatever they call it. Because I hope these are big enough because they want us to wrap these with the mozzarella stick. And I hope that we can do this. Well, anything is possible as long as you put your mind to it. <laughs> yeah, because we be done chopping stuff down. <laughs> okay, so me and Kendra are back, and we're doing the bacon, chicken, mozzarella sticks, wrapped mozzarella sticks, and she's she's interviewing me about. She's asking me about stuff. I'm yeah. trying. I told her I'm a chatterbox, so. Here I am, chattering again. Sorry, Kendra. Go ahead, Kendra. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> so, um, my next question for you is, what is your favorite style of um, cooking as far as, like, is it soul food, African food, Spanish, Asian? I have been, like I said, I, I told you I, that I haven't cooked the same thing yet. Okay. And... Being that I haven't cooked the same thing yet, because somebody recently asked me what was my favorite. I I remember when making spaghetti was a favorite, but it's not no more because I'm doing stuff that I've never done before. Can can you help me by getting the sure. mozzarella sticks out of there? Maybe I should have did that myself from the beginning, but but see how we're doing this? Mm -hmm. This is the, so again, I don't really have a favorite because I'm just opening myself up to the diversity of the different things to do. And everything I've been doing has been so tasty. So, no, I don't have a favorite no more. I, 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 remember I gotta show you re remember when spaghetti was the favorite for everybody? It was a quick meal, that's why. A quick, what, half an hour meal? Mm -hmm. Maybe less than that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're doing a great job, I'm telling you, Kendra. If ain't nobody else handed me no cheese better. <laughs> she's handed me cheese very, very, very nice. And she smells so wonderful. Well, thank you. Yes. Thank you, thank you. And I love good smell. I, I love it too. Don't miss the <laughs> that well. You could be off guard with that one. <laughs> um, I mean, I wear, I wear Sauvage and I wear um, Polo. So. Oh, well, this is Chanel. Mm, smells so Chanel. And I have Prada, but I'm not wearing it today. You Maybe I should have. Oh, Lord, don't. Let's not, <laughs> not get into. Mm, I, what I like to get into is what it smells like to be cooking. When this stuff gets in the oven, boy, it be popping. It be popping. So we're going to do one more now. And, 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 and with the best part about what we're doing right now is I'm rolling... Um, I don't, I don't know if anybody was watching me, but I'm rolling this, this chicken around the mozzarella, right? Now, put the, the, the bacon, please. Let's, let's yeah. open up the fresh pack, because okay. truly, I, I did make some of these. <laughs> I know, I used them for the potatoes. Here, 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 you can use that. I did some, um, the volcano potatoes, so, the other night, so I used them. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't kill me. Don't kill me. <laughs> I go kill you. Right. You saying that? <laughs> Meanwhile, I have a knife wound. Now I want to do that to you. I promise. How about I turn this way? 
to open up better. See, isn't that so nice how she's speaking? She sounds so sweet. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm so glad you're happy. Thank you, Kendra. <laughs> you're welcome, Reggie. <laughs> okay, now what we're going to do, we got I only really need six pieces, but I only took a couple. Okay. Now what we're going to do, we're going here. Now we have the chicken. Um, the mozzarella stick wrapped around the chicken and then we're going to take the bacon and wrap the bacon around the mozzarella, I mean the chicken. Ooh, there we go. There we go. There we go. So, then I'm listening. While you're doing that, mm -hmm. I have a scenario for you. Go ahead. Um, let's say there is a last minute get together for about no. 20 people. No, no, no. <laughs> This, that's not what I do. I ain't no chef. You can't pay me to do nothing. I have my own parties. If that's where you're going. Yes, that's I, what I'm speaking I have, of. I have my <laughs> own parties at home. But I'm not, I'm, you ain't putting me out there like that. I'm not putting myself <laughs> out there like that. Now, if they want to hire me to take pictures, I am sure going to be in the place to be. But I said, I'm a cooking novice. We're doing this to help people who are afraid of cooking um, become unafraid. Right. And so that's why that's why I do this cook into life's lessons thing, the cook part of it. The the life lessons part is to, like I said to help somebody to change somebody's life, to give somebody some information that they could um, to make a difference in their life. Like we like you're talking about um, help, um, young women and 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 you know what can we do to make a difference in their lives? That is the kind of stuff that um, I like talking about. That's why that's okay. why I have you here, because I don't have a problem with. Because you, you you say you want to your 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 girls the girls are about reaching out to other young women because you're you're a great example. You know I mean you look good. Thank you. And Thank and, you. And, and, and and you know and you look proper. <laughs> proper. I don't mean just look good because you just got, you know, you going out to the club. You look presentable in here to me, <laughs> which is fine. I appreciate it. And you're talking about something um, that that is interesting for, because everybody, everybody don't want to be a music vixen. That is true. You know, because um, that is you, really much true. You, the way I understand it, your objective is to be an actress. Yes, sir. And you're a model. Already doing it. You're already doing it. So that makes <laughs> that makes a great prime example for me. So that's why you're here. And and young ladies, I don't know why I got this blue right here, but I'll take this one because <laughs> now we done wrapped. The chicken and the mozzarella, we wrapped the chicken around the mozzarella sticks. Now, and we wrapped the bacon around the chicken. Now, we'll take and glaze this up like this. Well, I don't know, I ain't supposed to do it like this because I'm supposed to put it in the oven first. I'm gonna put this in the oven for 20 minutes, but I'm gonna put some of this, I think I, I can put some of this on and then I'm gonna do this again. Okay. Once it gets out, but I'm gonna let this cook for 20 minutes in the oven. So, Reggie, I have another question for you. Go ahead. So, speaking in terms of your, your, you being a, I'm sorry, I can, <laughs> I can never get this word out straight correctly, a photographer. Yes. Um, how long have you been doing photography? I see different pictures of your work, and they are so amazing. I graduated from the Art Institute of Philadelphia <laughs> in 1985. <laughs> Back then, back then we used to go in the dark room. Oh, I can tell you about silver highlights or highlights and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> and now everything now when I go to um, make color corrections, I don't dial it into the um, the the, um, the film. The, I don't dial it into the projector, the filtration on the projector for when mm -hmm. you're printing color, or the kind on the projector when you're doing black and white. Now we all that's done on a computer, which I am happy with the fact of the longevity and the life that I've had that I have in the field of photography because I still make money in the field of photography. But I, of course, I, as I mentioned, I also um, because of the difference 
in the, um, going into the digital world, I have um, um, just started doing substitute teaching to supplement my income. But you know, yeah, I, and I do this for the love of this. So, folks, I stuck, I stuck the um, bacon wrap mops, bacon chicken wrap mozzarella sticks in the oven. It's on 400, 350. It's supposed to be on 400 because I'm doing something else. Let me put this up to 400. And that's supposed to be in there for 20 minutes. I'll sit that up there. So my next question, yes. Reggie, is um, as far as mar marination, even though you know you cook for, for the love of it and, and not yes. just, you know, as a profession thing, um, what type of meats do you normally marinate, and how long do you marinate it, and things of that nature? Well, I, I, again, I really haven't, I haven't cooked anything, very few meals that I haven't, you, everything is always, is to me, everything I've came across so far, the meat has been marinated. Okay. And I, when I mean marinated, not necessarily uh, this kind of marinade, even even if you fry chicken, you season it, mm -hmm. and then you let it sit, right? So that the, the the skin absorbs the seasoning, because again, ain't nothing like cooking and smell like just like sticking those things in the oven. Now it's the double well, truth. I can smell the potatoes. And next thing you know, we're gonna smell that chicken and that bacon sizzling up in there. Listen, it smelling good so far. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> and, that, and that might be actually that might be the sauce that, that, that we marinated in. Because actually, if you notice, we didn't sprinkle any salt or pepper into right. this. Because it's not needed. Because it didn't call for it. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> nope. So we're doing good. We're in the oven, guys. What we're going to do, we're going to wait, because it says 20 minutes in the oven. 400 degrees like that. That's what we're going to do. Then we're going to come, when we come back, all we got to do, it tells us to glaze it again, and I guess we'll, you know, put it in the, um, I'll put the broil on it, because I do want the bacon to be a little crispy. But then we'll be wrapping this up, because our meals are supposed to be 30-minute meals. This, putting this together wasn't more than 30 minutes. Yes, I took 30 minutes. Because just, just you, of course, we always have to be prepared, having your ingredients sitting by and everything you need handy. So it just was a couple extra minutes because I forgot my ingredients list. But we'll be back to, to wrap this up. I appreciate Kim asking these very, very pointed and good questions, asking about um, um, what do I see in um, the young ladies that are in school. You know, even though I, I really, very seldom do I do the high school girls, even though I've been there, but I, most of the time I'm with the younger kids. And of course, the younger kids need, they need guidance. The yes. older kids, they're supposed to know. Mm -hmm. But we, we it's, it's I, I enjoy developing the young, the young kids. And again, teaching them um, the practice of studying, make, making sure that they understand that that's important. When you practice it, then you enjoy it. You enjoy it more when you practice and you see that it's easy. Then you flow right into it. And I'm, I'm really enjoying you being here, looking so good and um, thank talking you, thank to you. me. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, brother. <laughs> you know who I'm talking to. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a break. Damn, Mike, you gotta check. I, 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 I'm pulling this out a couple minutes early because I want to put. Oh, oh, that's all right. Don't worry about it. Don't, don't okay. worry about it. I, because I want to put some glaze on this to set this off. Um, it's oh, definitely does smell fantastic. It smells I'm so sorry, good. I'm sorry, I gotta pick up the other camera. Uh, I, I'm so I'm going to. Your camera's on. You want me to turn them on, or you just gonna do that real quick? My cameras are on. Yeah, your camera just time? not on. No, they, they haven't been on the whole time. But guys, look, I'm supposed to glaze this up like this. I'm going to glaze this up like this. I'm supposed to, I should have left it in there for the couple, five more minutes. But this is how we're going to do this. We're going to glaze this up like this. It smells phenomenal, you guys. Yes, it does. It does. This, I'm, I'm telling you, I love the way it smells. 
And again, now I'm going to throw this back in the oven. And actually, I'm going to put the broil on because I want the top to crisp up a little bit. Okay? Uh, if y'all know, if y'all know, I'm telling you guys, please, please try this dish. This dish, it smells <laughs> phenomenal. It looks good. Got my mouth water, watering right now. And yes. I, I'm just ready to go with this. All right, now, <laughs> I didn't mean to get my folks all excited. <laughs> you, you, let's, let, let's, let's get off one more question before, before the food comes out, before we do that. So you can ask me one more question, and yes. Okay, so my next question for you is, um, tell me about your environment in the, in, in the city of Camden. I know you stated that you um, have received several honors. My hands go off to you, by the way. Oh, please. Stop, 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 <laughs> stop, stop. And several awards in the city of Camden. Can you tell me a little bit more about that and any any other or, any other, or, other organizations? I'm sorry. Well, uh, okay. Again, I, I put my shirt on because I knew that your question would come here. This is one of my shirts. This is all over Larry Gang, Stop the Violence, who, if you are in... True, the, 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 the kids to participate because we had an annual basketball tournament. Mm -hmm. The kids came from everywhere because we had the kids that came from the streets mm. because this was about pulling them off the streets. And then we had the kids that go to college okay. that, that bring players from that because they play ball somewhere because they came from Camden. They go, went somewhere and played ball somewhere. They in Oklahoma. And they tell them because it was so and because it's annual and, and we did it. Mm -hmm. They would say, come home and stay with me for the weekend. We have this tournament that we do in the city of Camden. So you got kids coming in there like this. They, the good, good kids. Good kids that set prime example for other kids. Because now we got the kids from the street who are good ballers. Who had all kinds of things, drove them to the street. But they get that, they love the camaraderie of being on a team. Because you had 10 players and you had to have a mentor that was a coach. Your coach, it didn't have to be a coach from somebody's school, but it had to be somebody that could give the boys, or the girls, because it was girls teams and boys teams, had to give them proper direction. Mm -hmm. And everybody was responsible for themselves, but responsible for being a team player. Because if you're a superstar, you can't be out there. First of yeah. all, I, I ain't had no cursing mm -hmm. because because we brought because this the program was about to it was about changing people's perceptive perception of the city of Camden. So this event brought out seniors. It brought out baby brothers and sisters. It brought out moms and dads. It brought cousins and it brought people from out of the city, who only heard that the city wasn't that, that you could get killed in the city. Right. Never had any kind of um, problems at my tournament. And it got to the point where the police, they wasn't coming down there to be guards. They was coming down to watch. They was coming to watch and have fun and bringing their kids and saying, this is, you know, because we started 15, 15, 15 to as long as you're in school, in college or high school, whatever, you know, because 15 is, you know, you're like freshmen and um, all that in, mm -hmm. in, in school. So we, we allow for you to, to, to play. But just, you know, if you only way you could play if you was 14, if, you're, if they put you on your team because your game level was up. Right. Well, I have one last question. This okay. actually came to my, to my mind. I promise this is the last question before we wrap things up. Okay. Um, so just by me seeing in the news about the violence and the gu actually the gun violence spiking across the country, that, I know that worries a lot of us because our youth is out here and they are in this, you know, in, in this madness of, of, you know, violence mm -hmm. that's taking out children as young as, what, the age of three. And it's really heartbreaking. Um, and by you being a part of the Larry Gay Stop the Violence organization, how, <laughs> how do you feel about 
the spike in violence across the country? Well, of course, it, 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 takes, it takes us to make a change. Right. It takes us. So, um, first of all, everything ain't bad. So we have to make sure we promote that, that right. everything is not bad. And that it takes individuals to change their lives to be successful. They have to change their perception of life. Exactly. And, 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 and seize the value in life. Because life has value. Yes, it does. Listen, I took and put the thing on broil and forgot it was on broil, so that's why it's charred up. But these look excellent. I got the plate for the dude over there in, in, in the bleachers. <laughs> but look. OMG. Oh my god, I'm about to fall in heaven already before I even try it. Look at all the cheese. Oh yeah. I'm a cheesy person. I don't know about Mr. Reggie, but I'm a cheesy person. I love cheese. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now they they hot, so be careful. But so I can give you a fork and knife, so you can you can cut it. This make me, making me just want to go what? <laughs> but I ain't gonna do that. <laughs> I don't want you to do that. I do not want you to hurt no oh, one. And he on. got my favorite color, cold. Oh, there you go. Oh, my cold. There you go. Now please wait, wait a second. Oh, no, you I'm gonna wait. Gonna, I'm you gonna ain't wait. gonna enjoy it if you go. <laughs> Let's not do it like that. But we're going to put that like this because we always wrap up with um, eating what we fix. We have bacon, chicken, wrapped mo mozzarella sticks. And mm. now it tells us, and now look at me, I'm steady talking about, mmm, mmm. Now he teasing me. I want to dive in right now. I got to use the knife because it's so taste that. You ready? I'm ready. Cool. Let's dive in. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. And it's cutting so nice. And yes. So I'm going to stick this in the there. The meat is so tender, you guys. Yes, I'm sticking that in there. And folks, you know how we do it. You know how we do it. Reggie's cooked into life's lessons. Hmm. With Kenya. Kendra, excuse me, I, I knew I was going there because that, that ain't right unless I mess it up. Kendra, Kendra, um, of Everyday Girl Management, Everyday Girl um, Online Newspaper. Thank you, folks. Ciao for now. Subscribe. Mm. Oh, my God. Yum. Yeah.